Okay. You okay, Theo? Hey, everybody. We got some cool stuff to to tell you about. And box two boxes. Let me get those. And uh, got some. A lot of you know some of the things that's happened today. But we'll do boxes and then go over all that. Come on, this one's a heavy one. Let's see which one you are. I think you're Claudius. <laughs> this one is Chia. Ch -ch -ch Chia. See, sissy's name is Cassie and brother's name is Claudius. Why don't you get up there? Okay. Let's get a box one now. I was laughing this week about the uh, cat tree. I thought, why is she going to run away from me? Which Remember? Oh, yeah. Remember? Oh, why did you take my cat tree away from me? <laughs> what Pam's talking about um, last Thursday, um, we were both standing at the counter, and there was this little brown thing on the counter, and... Pam had been eating milk duds, and she went to reach for it, and I grabbed it away from her. And the reason was because I was actually, she didn't know it, I was giving um, Vera her medicine in one of those little pill pockets, and it looks like a little milk dud, so she almost ate one. Pam, while you're here, tell, tell them we've been doing volunteers at night. How long have you been helping me? Let me see here. I think I started... Um Probably in late summer or early fall of uh, either 2002 or 2003. So you've been here mm -hmm. almost nine, eight, nine yeah. years too. It doesn't seem quite that long. Yeah. And how yeah. did you find out about us? How did you get started with us? Do you remember? Well, I kind of knew Jackie when she used to have the uh, wildlife refuge for the raccoons and things like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I can't remember. I believe I just happened to stop in or something like that. And I said, well, sure, I'll start doing with the kitties and things oh. like that. So Pam's been here. She, oh, she. Other than her vacations, she, mm -hmm. she and her husband travel. She never misses. And Cabas, we gotta take this little Cabas boy. He loves to. This is what he does to all the styrofoam plates. He loves to. He doesn't eat them. He just likes to chew on them. Yep, I've seen a lot of kitties come and go. You sure have. Well, let's do this one first. These are both Amazon. One came by, I think, regular mail, and one came by UPS. This one came from the doo -doo -doo, Nevada. I think that one's Nevada. Amazon. Okay, little Danelle, what are you doing? i got to be careful around you. Oh, yes, sir. <clears throat> Uh-oh, oops, we don't have a... Have a... It's a 32 pack, so one and a half cases of the um, the poultry. So let me check my notes real quick. I might have something on one of those. Now I don't think I have one on this one, but um, if it's on there, just when I pop back on the camera. Let me know, okay? So we give our give our right thanks for that. They really like these. Uh, these are the yeah the shred. This is the one that has the shreds, the bits, and the fillets. You guys like them that way, don't you? That's all that it matters is what you kitties like. What you kitties like, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, now I do have a note on this one, so let me grab it. I don't know why we can't. Amazon doesn't always include include the names, but we try to try to keep everything straight. Yeah, this is from Sherry R. She's from Bloomington, Indiana, and this is um, Nika Nika Ross. And Nika was her last dog and a soul sister for many years. They were together. She's planning on visiting here on Saturday, probably in the afternoon. And um, 
And yes, this all did come in in one box. So let's see if everything that she sent. And this is kind of funny too. Sherry wrote on here, and a catnip filled banana toy, but not for cabbage. Because we've discovered that that wonderful cabbage boy gets a little bit crazy when it comes to um, these yellow bananas. The cats love these. They're really cool. They're the um, Chicata banana yao catnip, and boy, they love these. They, they take a lot of beating um, and still hold up. But there's two uh, cases of the baby food, which we're using quite a bit right now, especially in Bella's room, because there's four, three babies in there and Bella. And then another one, too. I'll, I'll unwrap these after boxes, and we'll get these put away. One's turkey can't quite see this one but whatever flavor it is we will definitely use it and a box of the whiskas and I've learned the hard way until we get to pull these out to put them in there I keep them in this because other than that hole it's uh, Octavia proof pretty much she tries every once in a while so thank you Sherry so much I'm, I'm real happy to uh, have you come on Saturday um, and maybe, and she had also mentioned that she might get to stay till Sunday, which would be cool. I probably have to run out to my parents Saturday afternoon, but other than that, I'll be here, and Greg will be, oops, I think Greg is off this Sunday, Saturday? Nope, Greg is on this Saturday, so um, we'll have we'll have uh, Sherry all taken care of. So thank you, Sherry, for, for um, the baby food and the banana and the whiskers. And Farah, I know you like those too. Farah, you want to do that? And then maybe when I get back on, uh, you guys can let me know who did the friskies. So, I've got some other things to show you too here. Some really cool news. But, let me go over just a couple things first. Uh, Mary, oh, no, no, Mercy went today and her new name is Mary. This lady that came today is pretty cool. Uh, she's her first name is Jeanette, and she's really nice. She's really cool. This Mercy's going to have a great home, I believe, with her. She was so into the health of the cats here that before she'll even leave her cat be with her cat at home, she had a doctor appointment already lined up today. So um, I was thrilled with that. That really, really uh, made some big bonus points with me. But she wanted to let me know. She's already called me once. Mercy or Mary is doing just fine. A little bit nervous at the vet's office, but wasn't wasn't um, misbehaving at all. Octavia, now just wait a little while. We just ate supper. Let's just wait a little while, okay? And uh, she'll call again in a couple days and and let us know how Mary slash Mercy is doing. I uh, wanted to let you know our calendars, you know my good friend Kate that makes the calendars, she's leaving Saturday, makes me very sad, um, she's leaving Saturday to go back to Arizona, We, she made 250, I think it was, calendars total, we only have 15 left, and actually it's probably 14 now because someone had emailed me, they wanted one, and she asked me to pass it on that right now in the the special savings account that she keeps just for the calendars, there's $5,200. $5,200. That's all 100% calendar money. Um, and But that money is already, always has a purpose even before we start the calendar sales. And the purpose of that calendar money is to help us get through all the medical things that we need. The medical things that we do in here, they're big, um, but I, I mentioned a couple of nights ago that we won't, um, even though it's expensive, times are hard, we won't back down on the medical things that we do. They're still going to get all their vaccines, their worming, the whole shebang that we do. Even though we put in minimum, and I had mentioned this, minimum $200 to $250 in each and every kitty, the adoption fee is $90. I'm, I just don't feel that we can raise that anymore right now maybe in the future we can but what that five thousand two hundred dollars does is it covers the medical supplies and the services that we have um, 
uh, Earth Angels that helps us cover the spays and neuters for there, the leukemia vaccines, the antibiotics, uh, some of the va some of the distemper vaccines, syringes. It even helps us cover uh, some of the uh, disinfectants that we use here, the worming, uh, the flea prevention. You know, once we get through the initial vaccines and the spay neuter and the two testings that we do, then we always have that monthly flea prevention cost too on each and every kitty. Like Mayor C, you know, that was here. She had been here for 11 months, so we had 11 applications that we had to put on her. So that's where that money is always, always earmarked for our medical needs. And I'm telling you, it's going to be awesome because um, Saturday I'm probably going to sit down and get these medical bills paid, which will be a huge relief to me. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, one thing starting on Friday, and this has nothing to do with the rescue center, but in case you see us kind of doing some extra things, Remember you, a lot of you remember where we put the uh, sewer line up front, the county came through and did that. Well, we were tore up all summer with that. Um, now we've gotten our letter that says now it's our part of hooking it up from out in the road back, back behind where the dog pen is, where our uh, septic, lovely septic tank is. So Russ Deppel is doing our work for us. He's going to start tomorrow. Paul's already started um, moving blocks of cement and fence, things like that, that we have to move in order for us to get the equipment back. But he's got to hook up the clinic, the new addition, uh, because of the bathroom and Thumper's room has water, and then the house. All that has to be elbowed together and um, ran out there to the catch basin out front. So that's happening tomorrow. That'll be a whole week. And then Tuesday, I think, I think, I think, our floor gets started and so Monday late morning early afternoon we're going to start working well the th the thumpers room bathroom and the office that Kurt uses will be pretty easy we're going to move all that stuff the back of the other section over there a lot of the stuff that's in the the front office will also go over there but there's my desk. I don't know how we're going to do it. We're going to have to probably take that apart, but we'll get it. So that's Monday. They come in Tuesday, and I think we can move back in Friday, which means when my desk gets moved, all the computer stuff gets moved. So I think Kurt will be down just temporarily, just very, very short. Kurt's probably going to take it straight from there, and we're going to set it up, or he's going to set it up here in Patience's pen. And... Uh, so we won't be down but maybe a matter of minutes. So we'll have that in here to keep running the cam. So that's on Tuesday, I believe. He was pretty sure. And yes, Kurt is back. A couple of you asked about that, and Kurt came back today. We're very glad. And uh, I know he had a nice visit with his mom and dad. Sometime I would love to have his mom and dad come visit us, which would be pretty cool. Um, I've got your questions here. I'm going to save your questions. A minute because I've got a couple things to share. We were cleaning out our counter today. Judy E., the volunteer, was, and I had saved this. And I'm not sure if Bantry's on, but Bantry had sent this a long time ago to Putter. I thought that was pretty cool. I've always saved that. So that's Putter's little thing, note. And then. We ran across this too today. This will bring back some memories, some happy memories, sad memories. You guys all remember our little little boy, our crown boy. Oh, Albert. Yep. This was his crown. Albert. Yeah, Prince Albert. Remember, we took a lot of pictures of that. He was indeed our little prince boy. I've saved that all this time. So he's he's a picture that um, represents Friends of Felines on um, our Facebook. And we'll always keep that on there. So I've got a few things to go over. This this one is an awesome one. I'll save that one too. And we've got two others here as well. This one though, I had gotten an email from Susan G. Uh, NH. I don't, I'm not real good on all those. I think NH, that must be New Hampshire. She sent a box to Kurt, and he told me that it was okay if I read this. 
um, it goes, Kurt, the other night in chat you talked about getting a UPS for the cam. I bought, she sent a great big box to us today. I bought this, a UPS, in February of 2011 and used it for maybe two days. Because of the bad electrical in my building, the low power alarm kept going off. No matter what I tried, I could not get it to not be constantly beeping at me. Actually, it sounds more like angry crickets, <laughs> but it is so annoying, I nearly threw the thing out the window. Supposedly, you can adjust the sensitivity to compensate for power fluctuations, but I had no luck doing it. So the thing has been sitting on my file cabinet collecting dust and annoying me to no end because I can't get it to do what I need it to do. Rather than throw it out, I am sending it to you. Hopefully, it will be of some use to you at the center. Susan G., thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Kurt was excited about it. I had to, of course, ask what it is because I'm not very computer good. Um, but it's for when we have... Putter! Putter! That's enough of that, buddy. Um, come here. Let me hold you. Are you just having a bad evening? Come here, buddy. When, um, when we have our power outages, which we do here because we're out in the country, um, this UPS will keep us on online so that we don't uh, fizz out on you. Did you all see Putter's tail? He's got a big old about two and a half inch boo-boo on it. He got it yes. Oh, honey, he got it yesterday morning. We're not sure if he caught it on something, but Judy S was wonderful. She helped me. Um, she held him while we clipped it up and put antibiotic on it, cleaned it up, gave it a little bath, and then we put a blue uh, vet wrap thing on there yesterday. This morning we took it off, let it out to air for a little bit, and then decided he probably better have that back on. Because it, it looks pretty sore, but it's it's going to be just fine. And so we put him a black one on today. See, I'm not very happy. It makes me want to whack everybody. Are you okay? How about we put you over on this side? There, we'll find a kitty if you need to. So, Susan G., thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Big time. And I'm going to save this one. So excited about that. Um, oh, dear. He's really ticked off. Oh, Bella. Er, oh, Butter, we love you. This is addressed to Jackie and Bella. And this came from New Zealand. Must be a card for Bella. It says, Ginger Rogers did everything Fred Astaire did, but she did it backwards. And in high heel. Oh says, Jackie, thank you for all you do for our babies, and these are ours. We share them with you. My friends have seen the photos of the kittens and cats and all say how beautiful they are. Thank you to, to all of the volunteers who work so hard and love the cats as much as we do. Hope Bella is better. With much love. Um, or, or this is Kiwi. This is Kiwi, our, our uh, webcam friend Kiwi. And here she's got Bella. Girls can do anything. Go for it. Get better. We miss you. So I'm hanging this up in Bella's room. She's getting her whole wall over here. You see all her cards, Pam? Isn't that awesome? We'll hang that one up too for her. So this one is the thing that we got this morning. I just couldn't resist. I had to put this up on the... Um, up on the Facebook. This just totally blew me away. I was so excited. My hands were shaking. And then when I sat down to tell you all on the webcam, when I stood up, my legs were shaking. It says, uh, Dear Jackie, please use gift cards to purchase a new washing machine for the center. And an anonymous donor. I have got, I have no idea who from. Um, Anyhow, there's two of them, and they're both worth $350, so we have $700 for the, and this one, guys, going for the commercial and dust aid. We also so hard on the washer, but they just, we just hard on them. We've been using them um, along with some monkeys. Is driving us all crazy. It just, we have to unplug it and plug it in and 
get, but I never do. Push the get things in. Now, uh, um, uh, they, they call it the motherboard in there. All the electronics is all messed up. So it's got multiple problems. So we have $700 plus. Uh, Clem, another our webcam friend and volunteer, gave me this um, $10 for Lowe's. So we have $710 to go look for a washer. So I don't know who this anonymous donor is, but I am extremely, extremely grateful. I just, I just was frozen. I didn't even know what to say at first. I was just shocked. Came to us just like that. So. It's a big need. I know, you know, sometimes it seems like we get our money in, but, sheesh, there's so much stuff that goes on here expense-wise that it's just like something just sucks all our money right back out. So, and I was actually uh, worried how we were going to do the washer. So this will help immensely for that. And then we got, then today, um, Paul and I was out back talking about, um, what we need to do out there in way of moving the, the cement pavers and that. When we came up to the door, there was a guy got out of a, um, I think it was a pickup truck, and just handed me this, turned around and just left. And it says, Jackie Moss, please open with boxes. Thank you. So we will do just that. And, and I don't know who that person was. Maybe maybe the, there'll be a note in here to tell us. looks like a gift card. Dear Jackie, please add these gift cards to the other two you received today to purchase a new washer and dryer for the center or whatever you need. Anonymous's husband? So this must be connected. Oh my golly. These are two gift cards from Lowe's, and it, they're both marked from Anonymous's husband. So these are they have to be connected, um, and they're each worth five hundred dollars. So I don't even know what to say. Thank you, um, and that seems so little to say, but I say that with a great big heart. Um, I think uh, even though our dryer is still working, um, I I'm, I will check into the washer and dryer like this says, and um, we'll get the we're going to go for the industrial commercial grade on this and see if we can get it to last a lot longer. I don't know who this was. I don't even know what color of truck it was. I know it was a truck. It was I don't know, but I'm so grateful. I hope you're out there and and know how how thankful I am for this. This is never expected. This never expected to wake up and find find this kind of a gift. So thank you, thank you, whoever you are out there. I just am so very 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 grateful. And before I do this, I gotta go in and tell my husband. Thank you. 
first thing my husband says, which is typical of him when he's so surprised, is, holy moly. So, thank you. Thank you, thank you. That sounds so little to say, but boy, I'm really grateful. Well, someone asked me about the washing machine um, earlier today, or um, oh, in an e email, I think it was that I got, and what we what we had intentions of of doing with the washing machine. So we're going to get a good washing machine. Um, uh, Michelin and Carmela asked about putter, which we did go over already, and Bella. Um, Um, Bella is doing fantastic. She's got three babies in there now. She's got, um, I'm sorry, I'm not even thinking clear. She's got our little orange baby. Um, oh my gosh. Oh, I have to give this washer and dryer. Let me get the three babies. <laughs> the other card. Oh gosh, stop. You're just, a, you're just the biggest whiner. This is Weasley. He's a baby, baby whiner. Says, I love my Auntie Bella, or Mommy Bella. And this is Nikki. Nikki just went in there today. And this is the boo-boo leg. The whole back side of it is not a pretty large laceration and it's right at the joint area but it's so much better when I put her in there at first she just looked around like who are these other kitties and who's that big cat and but today she was all snugged up right beside Bella Bella is just absolutely awesome with these kitties and this of course is our Dulcie and um, he got out today and was running around and was well, hello, Farah was having so much fun, and uh, he loves Bella, too. So these are Bella's babies. I call it, instead of June's room right now, I call it, I'm calling it the kitten garden. Kitten garden room. Here's my paper. Um, but Bella's doing great. Tomorrow's Friday. Um, you know, and she's really not pestering her, inci her incision on her stump very much. Uh, the swelling is almost gone. The bruising is almost gone. Um, the little stinker did take some suture out, but it's fine. It's staying together. It's, it looks really, really good. So the big thing is um, just we'll start letting her. Not yet. Not yet because it's only been um, a week a week that she's had, had that surgery. And I do that all the time. It's like a balloon popping. And, uh, but when we first start leaving her out, we're going to do it really gradually to help toughen that, that area up because it's going to be a little bit fragile. So um, that's how Bella is doing. And um, Frank asked about Gramanique. And Gramanique's been out and about. When I'm done here, I will try to find Gramanique. Oh, Gramanique. Gramanique. Every time I say Gramanique, I want to start singing that Dominique song. Here's Gramanique. You know, she's wonderful. You know, remember when she first came in? She was kind of shy and a little bit um, standoffish at first, but, boy, not anymore. She's, she's just one of the gang now. She's awesome. <laughs> Ernestine is playing with a yellow catnip bandana. She acts like a little kitty. But um, Gramanique is doing, she's doing fine. She's, uh, she's just wonderful. She's great. And yes, we Marvel. Is that you down here? Let me see. Yep. Marvel. Uh, you guys called it to my attention before I even saw it. So you guys get an A plus for the day. Marvel has a little bit of an eye problem, the left eye. This is not what I would call her piece. So this is a just a no real big deal. We'll keep after it. Got him on antibiotics. Uh, just uh, you guys noticed the eye was closed. We've got it open. It just was a little crusty, a little bit of an eye crud. And um, we'll keep putting antibiotics in that uh, a couple times a day, and we'll do that again tonight. 
after we give Miss Vera her medicine. And uh, she'll be, he'll be just fine. This is one of the kitties that Jody has fostered. Um, you know, just to give you a back up a little bit, to give you a little update on Weasley, I, I, I think, I'm pretty sure that Weasley's going to be a, a keeper here. You know, we were doing like a foster thing for him, for someone, but I think it's going to turn into where we do, well, where we will keep him and then adopt him out later. Um, oh, <laughs> I've been asked this quite a few times today about the Zanesville thing. Oh, yeah. Now, be careful. She can't. There's Badu that Pam has. Yeah, she has it. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying really hard to find something for Badu. While we're on Badu, I'll give you an update on that. You know, Badu, uh, I had kind of a funny feeling when she was checked in that something was not all the way up and up on what I was told about Badu, and I think it was this behavior. She does talk like that. That's just her normal talk. But and I don't mind that. That's fine. We we love it when kitties have different kind of voices, and that's fine. But her her um, the attitude is what is becoming a problem here. She I'm I'm going to have to maybe find I, I I'm going to do some research on something that we can do for Badu, or or find a family that might be willing to take her for me and see how she does outside of here. She has bitten. She's been biting. We've got quite a few people she's bitten. And we just, uh, she's becoming unsafe here. Um, uh, e usually I can get her to calm down. And when, hey, oh, hey, no. Yeah, but I'm afraid she's. Here. Do we need to put you? All right, go on over. Usually, if I can, if she goes off like that, I can get her to calm down enough where I can pick her up and put her in a pen just to kind of cool her down a little bit. But she went after me the other day, too. And when she goes after you, you know, she, yes, she's declawed in the front, but, boy, she knows what those teeth are for. She's bitten um, no less than seven people here. So I've got to do something because I'm. it's getting to the point where I'm a little afraid to even have our visitors our you know the volunteers are they they've been around this for so long they know when to back off but visitors coming in i'm getting a little fearful for that so uh we got to figure something out i'll i'll um already starting to uh, the process of some options that we can do for her where she might be happy so i'll keep you posted on that but the zanesville thing Boy, that is a real sad thing. I don't know the whole story, and it, it doesn't matter. Um, it's just a sad situation there. Most of the animals, I understand, have been put to sleep. I don't know really much about it other than the sadness of losing the animals. But it's four hours away, three to four hours away, and we're fine here. I think they've gotten almost all those animals caught. Um, all but one. All but one? Yeah, they got a monkey out there, but they'd like to get him because they Oh. Okay. What a sad thing. Sad thing. All right. Thanks, Pam, for being here tonight. All right. Um, Bubba asked about a volunteer story, and I think he specifically asked about Racer or Kurt. And I wish Kurt was down, but he's just got back a little bit ago, and I think he's putting things away yet. Um, but Kurt came to us about a year ago. I think it was in October or November of last year, and his very first time, he was going to stay like one day, one night, and he ended up staying like three days, and, and he was just great. He did stuff on the computer for me, cleaned out the computer, got my updates done, and just checked over the whole uh, cam thing. You know, I, I'm not very computer smart at all, and, and he just has stepped right up to it, and it's pretty much taken over all the computer stuff for me, thank God, because I'm not very good at it. But uh, he did some odds and ends, and just, he was busy. Oh, he took tons of pictures. That's when he started taking all the pictures for his Flickr. So then he was gone. He went back home after a couple of days. He was only going to stay one night. He was gone for three, four days, I think he came. He was here. And then he was gone for a couple months. He's been here up until the catathon, I think it was four times. But each time, it was a little bit longer, a little bit longer. One of these times, the day he was going to go home, 
but he had been here, I think, like 10 days or so. Uh, I had gotten the flu, and I was so sick, and he stayed a couple extra days just to fill in and help with different things here. But each time he comes, this poor guy, we just have kept on adding more and more stuff to him, to his to-do list, and he's awesome. He's so good at the camera. He's awesome at that. The computer, he's a whiz at. Uh, and woodworking, he's tremendously good at that also. So, so he's here now. And uh, I know his mom and dad miss him, but we're very grateful that, that Kurt can be with us because he's just he's just does so many things for us. So he's back. He was only going to go one night back. Um, Sunday or Saturday was it? And come no Sunday he left and was going to come back Monday I think it was, and he ended up just coming back today. Uh, he did some things for his mom and dad and um, did some things that that helped them out and got his clothes around things like that for the winter. So he's back and he's got, I know, a lot of stuff to do because he's really working hard on getting Kitty City ready for uh, the Cats Cove residents to come up for the winter. So I know he's going to be cracking. Uh, come here, you know, he's going to be super busy. <laughs> Here's Nebraska. Um, uh, getting that ready for us. And, uh, oh yeah, Lorraine, you asked about uh, Nebraska. That's that's her him right there. He's really a great cat. He's just fit right in from the very first day. He's wonderful. Uh, oh, Anna Marie. Oh, yay, boy, all my kitties are close by tonight. Wanted to see Selby. This is Selby. Selby's a little bit lighter than what Nebraska is. So we are really big time in degrees this time. We've got Selby, Nebraska, uh, the Chia, the C group, the Chia, Cassie, and Claudius. And now our Nuki girl, and also um, our CJ cat. So we've got a lot of great kitties right now. But Selby's awesome, wonderful cat. Cannot sit down at the computer without either her or um, Adora. <laughs> Adora's crazy. She's just she's just all over you. It's like a somewhere somehow she knows when I sit at that computer. She's right there at me. She's she's funny. And Cindy Lou and Dave wanted to see uh, Twinkle, so let me get her. Is it? Yes, it's Dave. Twinkle, where are you? Twinkle, where are you? This is our Twinkle girl. Say hi, Cindy. Hi, Dave. She's wonderful. I know, isn't it funny how, and we wash her face twice a day. She gets her eyes cleaned. Can let me get that? Um, she says, no, don't bother right now. But she's got, remember she came in with some eye problems, and it's just a chronic thing. Oh, but you got a sneeze coming? Look at your nose curling up. Um, this girl, I'm so thankful that we have her. Remember, she's the one that came in, had literally over a thousand fleas on her and was nothing but a bag of bones um this is the one the police was got involved and told them they had to get rid of the cat because they had a newborn in there they and i hope to goodness they got rid of the fleas for the baby's sake um but we're we're thrilled to have her she's one of our oldsters mm, thank you I, yeah thank you for that she says you're welcome and she's still got her her stars her twinkle star collar on I think she feels pretty proud of it. What do you think, girl? How about if I put you down on this side? You know, she has never, ever, I don't believe, has ever, ever even been in the office. Have you see, I got my places staked out. Well, she was in there when, we, when she first came. Uh, she was in Dodger's pen. Okay. There you go. There you go. So I think that that's all I got because I also lost my paper. Oh, here it is. Boy, you guys, when you start popping those questions off, I start writing down as fast as I can. I think I missed one thing, but I'm not sure. So I think that's it for tonight. Um, Steve and I, well, I know one thing. Hang on. You okay there, Twinkle? Tomorrow, Steve's on vacation. 
And uh, I think tomorrow we're going to buzz up real quick to Fort Wayne to uh, go to Sam's Club. There's some supplies that we get there that we can't get other places. And then uh, go check on my mom and dad again. So, um, oh, and then we're going to go to Lowe's and go shopping. So I, I don't know who this anonymous must be husband and wife um, is, but um, please just know, I just want to tell you, I'm, I'm deeply grateful. Very, very, very grateful. So thank you. Um, if I, I don't have an address, or I'd send you a great big putter thank you. We've got those putter cards, um, but I'm very grateful for everything that you guys do for the food. And just thank you, too, for sharing with us. I'm, I'm, I, I love um, that you guys are watching the kitties and the cats. We love to share them. And uh, I've had uh, two volunteers in the last two days that have been watching the chat uh, or popping on the chat a little more often, and they're amazed at how well you guys know these cats. Uh, the one says even that she thinks that you guys know them as well or better than what she does. So I thank you all for being here. And um, I think I'll go ahead and set up the playground area since Pam's Pam's done. All right, we usually wait till the, late, the last volunteer of the day leaves before we do, so we can do that. So thank you again, everybody, for being with us and helping us. And remember to vote, please. Remember to vote. If we if we do get to do the, if we do get to come in number one um, and get that that what that five thousand dollars that the, from the animal rescue, that is going to be earmarked for this floor. It has we we got to do this floor sometime. Even if well we can't do it in very small sections because of the way they lay it. It, it should be in a chunk. Um, but we've got the money to do those two rooms. We've been saving for that. And if we get this that five thousand will go for partial payment on this. But um, our our places where the old floor is coming up is coming up more and more. And I actually saw a kitty walking around today with a little piece of it again in their, their face. When we, or in their mouth, when we sweep and we hit those areas, we try to hit them a little bit harder uh, so that we don't get those chunks up that the kitties do, uh, that the kitties can get. So uh, we've been, usually we've been laying more rugs down to try to cover those up. But so vote, vote, vote. Hopefully we can do that. And thank you again, everybody. All right, babes. Babes. Thomas, you know what? You just wanted to bet. He says, of course I am. And there's your brother. Who's rocking and rolling in that box over there? You guys going to fall? You guys got some more food today. Who's in the box? 